Hey queens, today I'll be working with bulk hair extensions from the brand Model Model. As always, I want to share what style I used it for and my pros and cons of the hair. So my client decided to get an install done with the uh, Italian Curl by Model Model Glance Braid. We're going to be using um, two, two colors, uh, the 1B, um, this is the 1B here, and then we're also going to be using 1B with 530, so that's like a black and a burgundy. And this is 100% Kaneka Line and Toyoka Line, and this is what the bur burgundy and black package looks looks like. Very nice curl pattern. Um, and while showing you the curl pattern, I also wanted to be able to show you guys, give you guys an idea of how thin or thick the pack may be. So right here, you can kind of assess that a little bit. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so um, what she chose to do is she wanted some type of a small braids. She didn't want micro braids and she didn't want big braids. So we chose to go with uh, singles. And singles is just um, kind of like individuals, not as small, not as big, but something that's gonna last her a good two or three months if need be. So this is what the um, curl pattern looks like once it's braided. Um, as you can see, the way that I part when I'm doing singles, because it's not quite micros, um, I part in a diamond shape. And <laughs> if y'all caught that, <laughs> my client is leaning, okay? She was getting her sleep on, y'all. The funniest thing ever when they do that. But I mean, it took us about six, Six and a half hours, so y'all go catch her nodding a little bit throughout this video. <laughs> so I'm just showing you guys the perimeter of the back, and so this is um, the back side that we have done so far. Boom. <laughs> and what I really like about this hair is because of the type of wave pattern that it has. The wave, it's like a wave and a curl pattern together. Um, it was really pretty. She she wanted she told me to pick out the curl pattern and so this is what I chose for. Y'all, she about to fall backwards out that chair. I promise y'all she wasn't, but she was asleep. Y'all hear me? <laughs> okay, so all finished. Um, we got everything done. And as you can see, the lighting is kind of bad here because it was nighttime at this point. We started at yeah, it was nighttime at this point. So I'm just going through and showing you guys um the finished product. Um giving you a peek into it and Things like that and at this point she had went ahead and put it up in a ponytail before she left my house um, I think she was on her way to work um, at about 8 o'clock so she's spinning for y'all okay so um, right now I just want to show you guys an up close of the hair this is the hair without it being separated like as it come out the pack because we cut it in half so this is the hair not manipulated and I wanted to do a close-up so you guys can see you know how much frizz it is you know and get a good idea of what the pattern looks like so this is not manipulated and we're, I'm gonna show you guys versus when it is manipulated okay and this is when it's manipulated after we pulled it apart um, I think I pulled each piece in like four different pieces so this is what it, what it looks like once it's pulled apart it have a lot more frizz than it does when it's not pulled apart but that can be fixed with mousse. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get into the cons. Okay, so my only issue with this hair is because if you guys can look real close, there is this white flaky substance on the hair. Okay, this is what, what's, what holds this hair together um, to keep it together before you pull it apart. And as you can see, as I'm messing with it, the white substance is flaking off. And right here, I went to the ends of it um, so you guys can see a little bit up close what I mean by the white substance. Now, like I said, it's what keeps the hair together. So when you pull it apart and braid it in, you have this white flaky residue on the hair. So what we ended up doing was I braided the hairs up in plaits and then we dipped it in hot water, which kind of rinsed off that white residue. So I want to make sure you ladies was aware of that. Um, that, is, that is just one con that I had. Everything else was pretty much decent, so. 
So that was my install and review of the Italian Curly Bow Pair. I hope this was very informational for you ladies in helping you decide if this may be a good choice for making a new hair selection for your next install. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.